to the Marathon Seafood Festival. It's the biggest and best seafood festival out here in the Keys, except they don't allow dogs and we can't find a sitter for Trixie. So today, change of plans. It's the beach day. We're gonna take you guys to Horseshoe. It's a great snorkeling spot because it's super deep and we actually hear there is a vehicle stuck down in the bottom. It's really, really deep so you can't see it, but we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try out Nick's new uh, diving cover for his phone, a waterproof cover that he just bought. These days we do most of our filming on our phones. Um, Nick has an iPhone and I have an Android and that's because all of our GoPros and our DJIs kept malfunctioning in the heat. They couldn't handle the amount of filming we were doing. So, um, yeah, we just use our cell phones these days. They work out great. They've got great video quality. And so we're going to test out this new dive box. And we're going to see how well that works. And if the footage comes out good, we will share it with you guys. Come with us to Horseshoe Beach today. If you have a will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. This place is called the Horseshoe and it's located at mile marker 35 on Big Pine Key. The tide is high here today. In fact, we've heard many of the locals mention they've never seen the water so high. Makes me wonder if the recent supermoon has anything to do with it. The horseshoe is an old quarry where they once dug out coral to help build the overseas highway that passes through the Florida Keys. It's said to be about 30 feet deep in the middle, and the sunken ambulance makes a great wreck for divers to visit. Although we've never had great visibility in this location, it's a nice spot for snorkelers to stay out of the open ocean, thanks to the protection offered by its shape. A quick and easy setup of the new sea life case. I'm gonna double check to make sure it's watertight. and we're off to explore the underwater horseshoe.
While Trixie doesn't wear fins or a snorkel and mask, she absolutely loves to go snorkeling with us. The ocean is her happy place, as it is mine. I'm always thrilled when we can spend time as a family doing activities that we love together. The relationship between mangroves and marine life can't be overemphasized. These red mangroves are probably the most well-known in Florida. They grow along the water's edge, providing protected nursery areas for fish, crustaceans, and shellfish. Many other animals also find shelter in the roots or branches. Today, we're seeing mostly schools of grunts, a snapper, and the occasional parrotfish. Ah, to be a fish in the deep blue sea is to live a life that's wild and free. To swim and glide with fins and tail and hunt for food, be it coral or snail. To be a fish is to feel the rush of currents strong and waves that crush. To dance with the tides and rise with the sun and bask in the warmth when the day is done. To be a fish is to know no bounds and explore depths that few have found, to witness wonders few have seen and live a life that's forever green. So if you ever wish to flee to a world that's pure and endlessly, just close your eyes and make a wish and imagine what it's like to be a fish. In the depths of the sea, a snorkeling dog longed to be, a graceful creature with fins and gills to breathe within. She barked and paddled around, but her four legs kept her bound. As she watched the fish dart, she dreamed of a fishy start. Oh, to swim without a care in the cool and salty air, to glide with the ocean's flow, a true fish, don't you know? But alas, she was just a pup, and so she swam and looked up, wishing with all her might to be a fish both day and night.
If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure. Take you guys a bath. Bye. 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 Bye